Hi everyone and welcome to the June of 2018 coming to you whenever it comes because this is June 29th officially right now of my interview series with women leaders. I'm Emily Wishall of Wishall Wellness Live in Alignment and today I'm here with Beth Buchanan Sasser. Um, Beth is a newbie mama. How old is Very new. Um, she will be 12 weeks, 12 weeks on the on Monday, whatever Monday is. Sweet little baby. And she okay. the fourth, the fourth. <laughs> the third. The third. The third next week. And she's a functional medicine um, health coach who I have actually recently started working with personally. Um, and so I was inspired by um, the work we've been doing this far and I thought, I want to interview Beth and share her with all of you. Um, so we'll go more into that. So thank you for being here. My pleasure. I'm honored. I'm excited. Taking time for baby. So um, I'll just share a little bit about kind of how Beth has been helping me. And um, some of you know, if, if you've been following my journey, is I have been um, re-upping my own health game and, um, and been desiring more accountability um, around food, what I'm eating, and how I'm eating. Um, yeah, just to really reach a next levels of optimum health. And so I outreached to Beth, and we were, it's just been like two weeks. Yeah. Seems longer. Yep. I have worked with a lot of different coaches. Every coach is awesome. Well, not every coach, but I've worked with a lot of really awesome coaches, and everyone has their own unique thing that I really appreciate. Beth is like accountability and support to the max. I honestly. That. Like, she has been amazing. So we met two weeks ago. I did, and I, sh I shared with her, oh, you can see. Don't worry about this red. Spot here. <laughs> That's from a CrossFit workout this morning. <laughs> um, but I shared with her a hair analysis test I had done that showed some, you know, what's happening with my metabolism, different foods to eat and not eat, and a few other of my goals. And she has me text my foods every time I eat them. You know, she doesn't reply. Um, I keep a food log that she reads. It's also detailing my digestive bowel movements. I've, you know, been trying to track my mood. And it's been so helpful having her as my coach along my side, um, knowing that I'm checking in with her. Really, really, really invaluable support. Um, so that's a little bit of how it looks, at least my relationship with her working. Um, th there's much more depth. To her than that. <laughs> so I guess for those who are curious, like what is a functional medicine health coach? Oh, I love it. Okay, that's a great question. Because there's so, a lot of different health coaches out there. Yes. Yeah. yeah, so functional medicine health coach really is... Um, trained through or in alignment with the Functional Medicine Coaching. Well, it's the Functional Medicine Coaching Academy in conjunction with the Functional Medicine Institute or the Institute of Functional Medicine, depending. So anywhere you go, we will have the same background as far as um, like the paperwork we would want you to fill out and some of the background information we would take. So, so just that title of Functional Medicine Health Coach is going to give you some continuity throughout if you're looking for a certain style. Um, and then, and then within that, we can be found in several different places. Like I'm here at um, Be Well, or Be Well, right? Be Well move by, by move. move. There we go. And um, we would also maybe be in She's a, a CrossFit gym here office. in Louisville. Yes, yeah. yeah. Or an acupuncturist office, or even just a an MD's office. So it's that same um, kind of background but we could be found in several different locations. Well, and what is the Functional Medicine Institute? So that functional medicine itself is really looking at like the root cause of, of health concerns, of health issues, and really how we are now treating things symptomatically, where we should be looking at the root, and how can we start at the bottom to treat whatever it is we're looking to treat. So as the health coach, I would work with the, the physician or the acupuncturist or whoever, and they do the do the super in-depth, here's the medical stuff going on, and then they would hand them off to me and say, here's some goals, talk about more, and then really figure out how to get them where they want to be. So it's this relationship of, you have ideas, I'm here to help you find tools, and what, what that would really look like together. Cool, yeah. And I, I mean, that's just so where your skill set lies. I mean, I just think you're very, very highly skilled in doing Thank that. You. And no... Under, really understand food at a complex level um, and then so then when people bring different things of really what is the best foods at that time or most appropriate for that particular person right? yeah it's not just like 
keto diet for everyone. Right, exactly. And we look a lot at um, really the five modifiable lifestyle factors. So, so nutrition and food and then movement, stress, sleep, and then relationships and how all of that affects your health. Mm, it totally does. Yeah. Especially, yeah, relationships and yeah. sleep. I, I haven't been doing so good on my sleep yeah. lately. It's hard. It's such a challenge. Yeah. So what inspired you to go such a specific route and into this path? Because yeah, I, I love it. It's such some... a good question. So my my undergraduate is physical education and health, and so I've been an elementary school teacher for about a decade now. Um, and within that, I've kind of gone back for more training in exercise physiology, and then I went and did this um, health coaching certification. Okay. And it really, it really kind of came out of like, in working with children and seeing what what is really great to inspire them to do and become, mm -hmm. the parents need the information as well. So working with adults and kids alike, and mm -hmm. they might not be the adult that goes with that child, but just trying to hit the different ages and how mm -hmm. can we affect the health of these of these different generations and yeah. what that really looks like. That's fascinating too, because yeah. it probably does look so different from a kid to the their parent or yes. their grandparent who might see and how that yeah i just recently got my oldest client he's, he's 95 oh my gosh mm -hmm. i love that i have a oh. client who's nine and so it's okay. fascinating even from a tissue for how yes. that and so then from a functional medicine mm -hmm. what's possible when you have that mindset starting from such a young age is yes. amazing. yeah and it's it's fun to work with a kid who who really just is excited and says okay and they can be more malleable than adults and so yeah. adults who are maybe set in our ways and have habits to kind of massage and figure out how to how to move around is challenging yeah really challenging yeah and do you it is challenging that's what i'm <laughs> dealing with is all behaviors and habits i'm like oh my god yeah, exactly. these, don't these don't serve me, me anymore <laughs> why is why am i doing it um, so I imagine you have your, I know you have had a little bit of your own personal health struggles. Yes. Is that what really propelled, I guess it yes, is, it's, exactly. a, it's kind of a combination of both probably kind of exactly. your professional career, what yes. you've seen and then. So, so as, as a young kid, I really, I did not have great messages about food coming to me. I had kind of a mom that was a chronic dieter and a dad who was kind of just to need everything you can, whenever you can, um, and definitely struggled with a body image issues kind of throughout and and with that really became interested in exercise and nutrition in college and so that that was really fun to feel like i can find these answers i can actually navigate where where i came from a world where i didn't feel like i could navigate mm. um and so that that really got me into you the feel like you can navigate health. around food right or? Health, yeah food and movement and, and what i should be feeling like in my own skin know. yeah it was okay. very um it was just really confusing yeah, the yeah. messages coming in yeah, about that is a lot different. What you should be eating and from very strict and that dieting, relationship not eating, with eating food. Too much. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And that and that just kind of feeling yucky all the time mm -hmm. in my head about like what that should be, mm -hmm. and really like enjoying food. But what what food should I be enjoying? What makes me feel good? Yeah. And then if I fast forward a little bit, I um, ended up finding out I have celiac disease. I found that out at age 30, and I grew up on a wheat farm. So oh, wow. there was... That's a big... Yeah, so I had to tell my dad, and he was not excited. I had a wheat farmer. celiac. <laughs> had a celiac daughter. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, and thank you for sharing that about the relationship with food, because that's something I have struggled with a lot, and I think many of us do, from the feeling really rigid around food, like you can't eat. Yes. The opposite exactly. extreme of overindulging as a way to self-soothe. Exactly. Or not feel certain emotions, um, to self-regulate. Exactly. This yep. disordered eating, and it, I think a lot comes it's so from prevalent. Up, upbringing, yep. from, um, you know, this happens for men, but I think especially for women, mm -hmm. of needing to look a certain way mm -hmm. to be accepted. Yeah. And you're not Even, enough unless exactly. you look this and so then, of course, we get this weird concept around food, which food is here to nourish. And food right, is medicine. Exactly. It's, it's, yeah. Yeah. So when I really kind of came into that world, it was just like this fire around like, oh, my gosh, there's so much information. There's so much we can do. Mm -hmm. And I really love just the education part of it. Like, I'm kind of just a teacher at heart and 
whether it's kids or adults, it's, mm. I get really excited to learn new stuff and share new stuff. You have such a personality <laughs> for it, too. Thank you. Which is great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Huh. Awesome. Awesome. Do you have any, like, I guess, like, what is a particular, like, a client who might, who, who, who would seek you? Like, how would somebody know to, like, oh, this, I should come and Okay, that's, that's a good that. question. Um. Well, on the other side of that, I, I am kind of drawn to or I'm finding more and more coming to me around the autoimmune world. Um, um, and I think just because I came from that background and how, how I know it has helped me so much. Mm -hmm. I mean, it has completely revolutionized my world to be able to know that this really doesn't serve my body. And when I don't eat it, I feel amazing. Mm -hmm. So that clientele has been coming in and I really enjoy, really enjoy working with them because mm -hmm. it it's such a drastic difference. I mean, they feel better, mm -hmm. you know, pretty quickly mm -hmm. if, if they're compliant. Yeah. Um, tell me the other part of your question. <laughs> I guess I was like, what, yeah, how would somebody know to come and work with you? Oh, okay. Or, like, who so, do you, like, love to work with? Autoimmune is great. Yeah, so autoimmune is a big one. But really, anybody that's just needing a little more support and a little more accountability um, and really willing, really willing to kind of dig in and do the work. Like I would mm -hmm. love obviously to work with whoever that might be. Mm -hmm. Um, I, yeah, anybody and everybody, but it does take work. So it's more exciting for me if, it was if people show up regardless. Takes personal responsibility. Yes. Regardless of what the issue is. Cause it could mm -hmm. be just, um, I need a little help around getting my routine under control with the sleep and movement. Mm -hmm. It could be, no, I really need to talk about food. It mm -hmm. could be, I just really need help around finding people to support me. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's a pretty wide range, but yeah. the autoimmune community is, is exciting to me. Yeah. Yeah. And you can relate. To yes, that. exactly. I like, I appreciate how you share yeah. when they, when you can become clear about what's not serving you, what not foods and you don't eat them, how amazing you can feel. Yes. One of, um, I was actually a health coach of mine, my very first ever one-on-one -on -one coach, like, nice. I don't know, five years ago, and I remember she shared with me, what if feeling good was your default setting? Yeah, well, that's good. Which really landed, because that mm -hmm. is. It in, should be our default Our, setting, our yeah. innate selves mm -hmm. are radiant, are healthy, are mm -hmm. vibrant, but it, that gets muddled. Yes. And, or we forget that, or mm -hmm. we think that you just feel good some of the time, or we just think that this low level, right. whatever it may be, is, is normal until right. you can shift, make changes, and realize, whoa, I didn't know I could feel this. Yeah, way. and that's kind of when I was discovering my autoimmune disease. I didn't realize how bad I was feeling until I was able to kind of unlayer some of these issues. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden, I was like, I don't have headaches every day. I don't have eczema. I don't have stomach issues. Like, you're not supposed to feel like that every day. Yeah. And it was really... That's awesome. Fantastic. <laughs> so there's another one. There's another way. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Another way. Yeah. yeah. Around food. Mm -hmm. And enjoying it. Not having to be really rigid either. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else around your story, functional medicine? That... Um, I guess one, just something else that I really love yeah. Um is being able to work with other practitioners because it's so fun to say, okay, we're working on sleep or we're working on food. How can acupuncture serve you? How can rolfing serve you? How can chiropractic, how can these other avenues help you in Get every, that. exactly. That's a really good point. Round. And that's a really awesome benefit of the Be Well mm, my yes. community. It's oh very much an integrative yeah. clinic um, where you're held. Yes, absolutely. as a client, as a patient, and um, so I actually just had acupuncture, <laughs> so I'm so subdued. <laughs> but in part to, to help with some of the things that Beth and I yeah. are working on, some of my goals, and so it's nice that Beth and Heather, the acupuncturist, can share my notes, and I don't have to like explain. Mm -hmm. Oh well, Heather said X, Y, and Z. Mm -hmm. They're already communicating. And then if we're working on, I keep going back to sleep because so many people sleep have sleep is huge. If we're working on sleep with acupuncture. Yeah. There's so much we can do with food, and there's so much we can do with lifestyle. Yeah. So if we can really hit it from so many different angles, the, the success rate is just It really so is higher. a holistic approach, yeah. too. Yeah, awesome, awesome. <laughs> um, do you have, you um, like, a? I always like to ask everybody at the end of these interviews, like, a number one tip or takeaway. Yes. So I've been thinking about this. 
My number one really is to um, surround yourself with allies. Like communicate what it is that you're doing and you don't have to divulge everything because a lot is so personal, but to let people know that this is a goal you're working on or a strategy that you're starting to employ because the more people that you have on your side, the more successful you'll be. It's true. And even, I mean, I struggle with stuff all the time. Mm-hmm. Sleep, food, I mean, all of it. Like even, mm-hmm. I'm tired, I don't want to go work out even though I love moving. You know, yeah. there's always... And so even today, as I have a newborn at home and my husband's going, well, you, it's going to get hot later. I know you want to do something today. You better get out of bed. And I'm like, okay, fine. And I did it, and I feel so much better. Yeah. You know, awesome. and so just having it's people on their side. Have, sometimes you need that little gentle push. Exactly. Yeah. What if somebody feels f- afraid to oh. ask for an ally mm-hmm. or scared or ashamed? What is a way, or if they don't have a lot of, I've come across recently a couple clients, people who um, just feel really lonely mm-hmm. and they don't have a support network. Mm-hmm. How could they maybe approach somebody? Yeah, I love this. So so one option to me is if, if I am looking to incorporate movement mm-hmm. and I don't feel like my immediate... Um, or yeah, or your immediate tribe. people maybe you don't like when they push you to like, oh, you need to work out, or right. that, it doesn't feel good. Then so I, you... I in the past have found a place where I want to be, and then I find the people in there. Like I would go to my okay. yoga class, and I knew the people in yoga would be very supportive of whatever it is I needed, as far as just showing up to yoga every day. Okay. Um, so so put if you can, you know, get in the back door of a community, and then th- that's your new tribe, that's your new support group. Okay. The so other kind of put yourself. Yeah, and I know that place. that's hard and scary to kind of show up in a new place like that. But usually, once you do that first jump, so many people are so yeah. um, embracing yeah. and just wanting yeah. wanting people to be successful. From my mm-hmm. experience, anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a good suggestion. Did you have another? Um, the uh, the other part of it was really just find one person and it doesn't have to be someone here it could be a best friend from college or Mm -hmm. somebody from when you were younger that you could even have a phone call with Mm -hmm. and just do the same thing share share the one little goal or the one thing you're wanting the support behind yeah and you don't even have to be with them you know something that an email could do or a quick phone call or a text saying i'm out the door or whatever but it, it does just take you know the connection of another person to make he make you feel like you can do it. Connection yep. Too. I think we all. I mean, we all desire to be connected. And exactly. Loved. And what better way to mm-hmm. allow yourself to experience another level of connection mm-hmm. than when you're trying to reach a new goal? Mm-hmm. And I yeah, love that. Absolutely. Yeah, that's a great tip of finding an ally tribe. Mm-hmm. And yeah, if somebody isn't near you, one thing I've worked on with a friend is I had a certain I don't know meditation I wanted to do every day. And I had a certain emoji that represented that particular Perfect. practice. And she knew that. And she Perfect. had, you know, two or three, you know, different emojis that represented different practices. So instead of every day, like, I did my, mm-hmm. which sometimes can feel like a lot to text. Yeah. You just send the emoji, boom, it was done. Yeah. Perfect. And if we didn't hear by each other, like, 7, 8 p.m., one of us would send a message to the other mm-hmm. one of, like, you just a quick question yeah. mark, do you get it? Or not, and that was a really easy, fast way. Yes. To just like, brilliant. Yeah, I liked the emoji. It was, mm-hmm. it was quick. Easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. So, okay, so I am. Well, I have a, a I have a love support. So I feel really grateful right now. I'm at a place in my life where I feel like I have a lot of support and a lot of allies. But it's something I'm continually seeking out. Absolutely. Um, and it's been amazing. I think the more I seek it out, how I have really. And, and shared myself vulnerably with others, mm-hmm. um, which is hard. Um, how I've just really been met with such love and, and connection mm-hmm. and feel more full. Yes. Yeah. So that's a great. Yeah. And in, in, in alignment, right. just in this new mom world, I've been hesitant to, yeah. to go to um, like support groups or just social groups. And just because it's a new world, I don't know this world. I've only been doing it for 12 weeks now. Mm-hmm. But every time I've gone to, any any support group everybody there is so happy so excited to like invite somebody to the tribe is really what it feels like and so all of a sudden I'm like I don't know this world but everybody's here for me yeah and you know it's it's like that everywhere you really just kind of have to look yeah you do have to put yourself out there a little Mm -hmm. bit how is it being speaking of those five life Mm -hmm. lifestyle or yeah lifestyle I don't remember what you call them yes lifestyle and being a new mom 
it's challenging. Always. It's very challenging. So the sleep you have little control over. So you just take what you can get and and every moment that I feel like I'm so tired, I have this little voice in my head that's like, this moment is fleeting. Like this will go away. Mm -hmm. This isn't, you know, being tired is really hard and it affects it affects every other everything else. Yeah. You know, then then do I have the resources to take care of a baby? Do I have the resources to show up in my marriage? You know, really, yeah. it's so, so challenging. So that, that's that been the number one where I'm like, I, I really have to work very hard around the no sleep, but still being able to function. I like that it's fleeting. Yeah. Did you say this? These is, moments are fleeting. These moments are fleeting. It's temporary. Yes. So that's my little mantra. Good mantra. <laughs> good Even though things are great and, and, you know, she, my husband is like so amazingly supportive and she, my baby, is such a great sleeper, you know. So it's hard. hard. It's really hard. I feel like that's just an interesting scenario, <laughs> yeah. being a functional medicine yeah. coach. And now all really... five of these are very challenged. Yeah. Like the food, the sleep, the movement, stress, and then the relationships. And yeah. it's, one thing that I've come out of this is also like, maybe this is another kind of like, um, these are people I should be working with. I would love to be talking to new moms about how hard it's been for me, like the struggles mm -hmm. on all five of those, and then what's what's really working and what I would love to have somebody have told me ahead yeah. of time. Yeah. That would have been great. I think there's a lot probably. <laughs> I know, would, exactly. I'm feel grateful for to know all these new mamas whenever my day comes. I'm yeah. all like, <laughs> please call. I'm going to get chat. I'm like, I'm going to get so much info <laughs> beforehand. I'm going to be prepared, which yeah. probably everyone thinks, but. But. You can't really. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. I love it. So thank you for sharing all of that. Yeah, and my for pleasure. taking time away from baby mm -hmm. to be here. So I hope everyone got a couple little tips, suggestions, or inspiration just wherever you on your wherever you are on your path um, to maybe come come back to you and being clear of what what is it that you need. And really looking at who are your allies of support, mm -hmm. the support team. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Um, because we all need support. And I actually think when you go out and seek help, that that's a sign of strength. It's not weak. I think we oh, absolutely. Think, oh, it's a weak or... No, it actually... You have to we be can't do strong. it all. Like, we absolutely yeah. can't do it all. And being able to turn intention into action, I mean, that's a huge gap. Yeah. And and you need people on your side. Yeah, we all need, we all need our team at Allies. Yes, exactly. So, but how can we stay in contact with you and learn more about the work you do? So, through um, the MOVE website, and it's M-O-O-V, and Emily will have links to all of these, um, they have a wellness page, and on their wellness page, you'll find me in my bio and um, my email, Beth at MoveVital.com. Beth at MoveVital.com. And Emily will have I that will type that also. in the comments. Um, but yeah, that's my, that's awesome. where I am. Awesome. Great. Okay, well, we'll reach out. What I, you're just so approachable. I just Thank think you. Uh, it can be an intimidating thing, especially yeah. if there's interesting emotions around food or exactly. health or whatever. And um, I, what I preach about you is just very approachable, non judgmental. So. Thank you. That means a lot. It really does. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you. And um, thank you, everyone, for tuning in. We'll love to hear what you think. And um, yeah, happy rest of your summer. Yeah. Happy looking and focusing on where your allies of support already are. And ho hopefully I'll see you around. Yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye.